Okay. We are on the way. <clears throat> no bands as of yet, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hats. Usually it's an instant lock like Dawnbreaker ban or uh, Nature Prophet ban or, you know, one of those stupid heroes right now. Okay, we do have the Brewmaster ban. I have, I've been seeing a lot of Brewmaster bans lately. Um, and there is a Trent Protector ban from whatever. EA ban, okay. That is a pretty popular pick slash ban. Um, still no Invoker ban. I'm hoping Invoker makes it through. Maybe we can see an Invoker game. Not that I, you know, favor invoker or anything um but he's been banned every single game i've casted so man thinking long and hard about okay there is the invoker hey buddy and the Dawnbreaker ban. Okay, so we got a couple more bans, and then we got our first two picks. So who do you think they're going to be banning? Venge, okay, another meta ban. What are you doing, buddy? This is the only time I can pet you. So come here. Okay. Hmm. So I don't really know what uh, each team plays. I'm, th again, this is my second day casting. Um, you know, if I do continue to cast for the these teams, I'll start to know the players and get more in depth about who they like picking and so forth. I've just had a, a busy weekend and haven't been able to get into any of that personally uh we do have storm spirit being banned and sven being first pick because he did not get banned out um we do have nature prophet still on the field um normally you do see him being banned so we could be seeing a nature prophet pick here okay we got the razor pick um more than likely razor is going to be going off lane versus sven um we do still have nature prophet in the pool uh, he might be banned here in the second phase. Uh, two bans do come in for buff and then one for whatever. Five seconds <coughs> remaining. Yeah. So Storm Stare, it's not a usual first uh, pick, first round uh, ban. Um, so I'm assuming somebody on team whatever really mains Storm Spirit and is really good. So they just didn't want to deal with him. Um, we do have Hoodwink being banned for buff anchovy. Ten seconds remaining. Um, and they're, they're thinking about their last pick. Um, is it going to be a meta ban? Is it going to be a ban that somebody they know plays and they play it really well? Um... So we do have the Nature Prophet. As I was saying, you know, that was still in the pool, but that is being banned. We do still have Warlock in the pool. Um, Warlock is a, another really good support. Uh, we do have Shadow Shaman still in the pool. Um, but they do ban out um, Primal Beast. So first, technically second pick or whatever. First pick in the second round. Going for whatever. So, here we go. Getting into that reserve time, thinking long and hard about it. Um, so, with the Sven and Razor, um, as I'm about to say, so we got the Willow. Uh, more than likely, Willow's going to be a pass four. You would like to get some items on Willow, but Willow is good 
Willow can go mid. Willow can go four. Willow can go five. So she is pretty versatile in that. Um, but more than likely, you could have the Razor and Dark Willow go in the off lane. Um, that is a, a pretty nice combo. You got the Bramble Maze, you got the Razor Link, and then the Dark Willow uh, channel stun. Shadow Demon. Okay, so the Shadow Demon pick is really nice here. Um, so let's just say this is a Razor and Dark Willow lane against the Sven Shadow Demon now. And they do get the Earth Spirit. Man, I feel like we've seen nothing but Earth Spirits mid. Um, I think, again, I haven't seen in the games I've played, in the games I've watched, in the games I've casted, I haven't seen Earth Spirit, like, just dominate um, and get so far ahead that his level progression and his damage has been so beneficial for the team. Um, normally, I feel like he draws the lane probably 90% of the time. Uh, the other 10%, he kind of wins. He doesn't really lose just because it's Earth Spirit, but... Um, but yeah, as I was saying before, the Shadow Demon is really nicely paired with the Sven. Kind of can stop the Dark Willow's uh, channeling uh, stun. And also, you know, she throws her Terrorize and stuff like that can really stop it. Will not stop the Link. Um, so. Now, whatever is thinking uh, about their two picks that they have back to back and more more than likely i i want to say willow and razor are going to be the off lane and then sven and shadow demon are going to be the safe lane with earth spirit mid so they do pick a tusk uh tusk again can go in the off lane can go mid um so, with that pick, I'm going to say Willow is probably going to be transitioning. But, again, not sure who everyone plays. So, I can't know for sure. And we got the Void Sphere. Okay, here's our mid pick. So, more than likely, it's going to be Void Spirit, Earth Spirit, Mid. Um, Tusk and Razor is probably going to be the off lane. And then Willow is going to be the pass five. Sorry, Willow, you have been moved. Okay, so right now, Buff Anchovy is looking for a, a nice off laner. And a pause four, more than likely. Um... And we got the Skywrath Mage, more than likely a pause four. We got Slark coming out as a ban for buff anchovies. And then we're going to be seeing a offlaner ban, two offlane bans, more than likely from whatever. Um, got Centaur still in the pool. Centaur's really good this patch. Um, Depending on who they are going to plan on picking on as, as a carry, they could leave Centaur in the pool. But um, he, he's a good one to kind of ban out. They don't really have too much uh, magical burst. They got the Bedlam from Willow, Vo Void Spirit. You know, he's kind of half and half, so they don't have too much magical burst. So Centaur might be a good ban. Uh, they do ban the Beast Master. Um, I don't know. I think Centaur would kind of wreck uh, Radiant. I'm my mindset is totally set on banning Centaur, but they do ban the Legion. Um, and Buff Anchovies do have that final pick. Um, so 
they're going to be banning a carry. And more than likely, they're going to want to ban a carry that kind of counters that, that spend. So, Earth Spirit can get on the carry, but I feel like Drow would actually be kind of good for whatever. Um, you got the shards. You know, you got the, the razor for the front line to kind of keep people off. Same with the Tusk. Snowball can kind of save. Um, so... Could be seeing a drow from whatever. Marksman would be so good. Ugh, especially against the spend. So we'll see. They are they are taking a lot of time. So they do decide to ban the Ursa. A, a nice ban. You know, got that in Rage. Um, but, I mean, Shadow of Demon kind of can, in a sense, um, make it so Ursa can't really do too much unless he's got the BKB within Rage. But we do see Tidehunter coming out for buff anchovies. Now, he Tidehunter was picked both games, I believe, yesterday with buff anchovies. I think it was buff anchovies. My memory is not as good as it once was. But whatever is uh, does have 20 seconds of reserve time to pick a carry. Um, again, I still think Drow is pretty good. Might have a hard, rough lane. But I just I think Drow all around is good. Oh, okay. So we do have TA. Um, the shield is good against the spend. But the shield is pretty much going to be gone against the Shadow Demon, Earth Spirit, and Sky Wrath. So, I don't necessarily like that last pick. Um, with the TA. But, anything can happen. This is Dota. The players determine the outcome. So, as we head into game number one between Buff Anchovies and whatever, I'm going to take a drink. And get ready, because I'm going to guess whatever is going to smoke gank. Good water, good water. Purified water. From our natural well. Okay. This, this screen is so long, dude. So long. Okay. As we get into the game. Oh, you, you know what I keep forgetting? I'll do it while we're... Uh... Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have... Anchovies versus... Whatever. Oh, that, that name is I'm totally not doing that. Okay, so we do have a, a couple blood grenades out for the side of the radiant. Um, I mean, like I, dude, did I call this? Oh, dang it! I called the wrong team though. Buff anchovies did the smoke. Okay, so they're they're kind of warding on the way, um, putting a ward in the triangle. Of whatever. Buff Anchovies kind of looking for that, that first blood kill with that smoke. But the smoke is going to fade away. And they're going to say, you know what? We're going to hold off. We're going to wait for another day. Um, it does look like whatever is pinging out. Uh, to say, I don't think they're going to be invading now. So let's uh, set up for these two runes. But Buff Anchovies. Moving his five. Eating a... Did he just Quelling Blade a tree? I think he just Quelling Blade a tree. Okay. So we do have Void Spirit going for this, this single rune. So he's going to be a two on one. This version is coming in. We do have the Stormhammer. Are they going to do a bit of damage to him? 
the Skywrath Concussion Shell. I did miss a first blood down bottom, but Voice Bear is in trouble. He used the shield, but he is going down. This is going to be a two for one trade. It looks like they do lose two here. Tide Hunter and Earth Spirit falling down, but the Void Spear also going down to the uh, the Skyrath. So both mids going down and had to TP in. The deny does come out. So let, let's get these last hits uh, and do all for Earth Spirit. Oh. Oh, we have a disconnect, guys. A disconnect already. Okay. So, we got somebody in the dispersion. Um, I'm assuming it's Razor. Yeah. Definitely Razor. So, we do have the Razor Tusk offlane, you know, kind of as I as I said, um, with the Sven Shadow Demon. Um, so, up here, basic... Basically, with the dispersion, he's not going to be able to get a good link and get that maximum damage. Um, so that that's kind of what the Shadow Demon is there for. With the shards, though, Tusk's job is to kind of keep him in that, even though the dispersion is on him. The Tusk can make it so that chain lasts longer, even though he's still in dispersion. Um... And then down at bottom lane, we do have the Willow and the TA uh, against the Sky and Tide. So early on, he did get the meld, but the, the shield will be nice because Sky and Tide aren't going to be able to proc it off as as uh, difficult as it, or as easy as they would like. And then we got the Void Spirit, Earth Spirit mid. So we do have two Spirits middle. We do have a roll coming out for the Earth Spirit to do some harass. We do have uh, advantage for Earth Spirit right now. More than likely, we're going to be seeing a bottle for both of them. It looks like Earth Spirit's bottle is already in motion. Uh, Shadow Demon is trying to stack. Will he stack? He does stack that. The dispersion coming out on the Tusk. I did miss a kill bottom lane. It does look like they did get the Skywrath Mage with the Bramble Maze. And the Meld uh, did hit him. Oh, mistimed the Meld here. Skywrath made coming back bottom. We do have a wand uh, for the Tide Hunter looking for that ring of health so that way basically Tide can just kind of soak up and eat the, the damage one at a time. Um, Sven getting a, the first bracer trying to get that tankiness so he can just kind of stay in lane you know hit those those guys. Earth Spirit hitting on the door of Void Spirit. Uh, getting that bottom rune. So, basically, uh, just wanted to make sure I'm not missing any action down here before I talk about, uh, man, they are, they are really combating this, uh, Lotus. And it does look like TA does get the Lotus. Dark Willow chasing the sky around the pond, the fountain, not pond. Um, taunt going up on the Earth Spirit. Oops. Meanwhile, uh, they're trying to uh, get some shards. I'm not sure if that was to prevent the pull. Um, not sure what they were exactly doing. Do have a belt of strength. So right now, I mean, it, it, as we can see middle, middle, they are definitely farming. Uh, we got 21-1. And then 20 to 5 TA. Or, sorry, I'm so used to seeing TA mid. Uh, Void Spirit, 17 with Earth Spirit kind of taking that slight lead. Uh, we do have a D Ward coming out on this, the Shadow Demon. Um, now, we do have this warded, so they, they cannot pull from that camp. Um, taking another rune. It looks like Earth Spirit is going to come uh, top. And they are pushed out quite a bit. Razor is falling down. He does have three stacks on him. And that may be the death. The boulder hitting him. That is a kill for the Shadow Demon. Very nicely done. Uh, down at bottom. Trying to get a kill. The Dark Will getting another kill with the Shadow Realm. I'm 
my coworker because um, the last one was starting in this. Okay, but it, it's gonna be on a date. Lost my train of thought. Um, they did cancel that sentry. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe they want to start using it to pull. Um, that's the only assumption I could come up with. Uh, so a nice, nice rotation by the Earth Sphere. I don't think it was a hundred percent needed, but it, it, it got a, an assist. Sven. Getting quite a bit of damage on him. This is version coming out to try to save him. The Tusk does not have Snowball. So Sven will get away with less than 100 HP. Does salve up. Does get a Tango. And he will be back in lane ASAP. Earth Spirit is now level 6. Um, you know, falling just a little bit behind uh, Void Spirit because of that, that rotation. That he did. Uh, we do have a six minute rune. Does look like he tried to. Uh... I don't think they can do anything with that top. Uh, we do have the Earth Spirit having a haste. Ooh, two bounty runes. That's huge. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a huge rotation by the, the Earth Spirit and the Skyrath. The Magnetize coming out on the Willow, realizing, okay, he's dead. Oh, getting that Courier, too, for the TA. Nicely done by Earth Spirit with that Rolling Boulder to get that that Courier kill. Uh, meanwhile, we do have Void Spirit kind of farming to kind of catch up to the Earth Spirit. Um, they did scan. Do see that the Earth Spirit is coming back. And that, that was an end of a killing spree, too. Because Dark Willow had a killing spree. So that, that was a nice chunk of gold going in the way for uh, Earth Spirit and Sky. So nicely played. Nicely done with that rotation. Um, so we're at the 7 minute. They did get the, uh, the Wisdom Runes. For both sides, we're going to look at the net worth. I'm still learning all the, the hotkeys for these. So, uh, we do have Earthshaker at the top of the net worth at 3,800 TA. Not far behind at 35. Razor at 32. And then Void Spirit at 32. Earth Spirit was looking to come top for another rotation. But Void Spirit called it out, realizing, okay, Earth Spirit's coming top for you guys. You guys need to be careful. And Earth Spirit does decide to come back middle. Uh, we do have Tusk and Sky kind of just hanging out here for the runes. Uh, this, ooh, those were some nice shards, but the rolling, the magnetite's coming in. The Void Spirit, Astro Step, Astro Stepping, another one to get away. And it does look like the Sky will be falling to the Tusk, but the Tusk in a change, the magnetite's will be finishing the tusk but no the shadow demon actually gets that kill and it does look like they do get a d ward uh here barrier uh or a shield rune bottom man that bold those boulders do so much damage 300 damage like i mean i guess earth spirit spells all of his spells Okay, you gotta give it to him. All of his spells, you can't just click on the hero and say, Yeah, my boulder is gonna hit you. You literally have to set it up and kick it. So, you know, the 300 damage might seem like a lot, but it's all this. It's a skill shot. Like, so. Meanwhile, bottom, we do have the shards coming out. The meld coming out on the Tide Hunter to reduce his damage. But he's just so tanky. The snowball coming in. The fear coming out onto the Tide and the Sky. And they're trying to finish up the sky, but no, the rabbit's coming out. The dispersion coming out, canceling that, that meteor hammer. And it does look like they do get the kill, but in exchange, the tusk going down. They're trying to get another kill, but no, they do get out. Oh, and the astral step 
cleaning up the sky, the taunt on the shadow team, and then a double kill going in the way for the TA, cleaning up the Earth Spirit. Very nicely done. The rotations coming out for both teams, but it's, it's just stronger in the side for the Radiant. Void Spirit getting those Astral Steps landed on two heroes. Just help the TA. Man. Whew. That was very nicely done. Uh, this the TA could be in a little bit of trouble here uh, we'll, we'll see setting down a trap to get a slow tide hunting coming in from behind uh, We do have the willow coming out the bedlam is but the silence coming out on the willow no bedlam for a little bit The slow on the willow trying to get a range of the sky, but no it does look like uh, where's the bedlam? Woo! The meld hitting the Shadow Demon. The Shadow Demon saving himself. The concussion of shot. The arcane shot. Will it be enough? Skyrath trying to get the Willow, but does get rooted. Meanwhile, on the back line, it does look like the Bedlam coming out on the Void Spirit. Void Spirit astraling step forward, taking out another kill. They're trying to get the Skyrath. They do clean up a kill up top. Earth Spirit taking down the Tusk. Void Spirit does have astral step up in now. Getting that taunt on the sky, and that will be a dead sky. Void Spirit cleaning that kill up. Woo! Action pack. That's what we're talking about. I missed this tier one top falling uh, because we've been having nonstop action down here at the bottom lane. Tide Hunter now TPing back in. Does have a Meteor Hammer. We do have a Dragon Lance and Power Treads on the uh, TA. Meanwhile, Tusk got his Tranquils. We do have a Urn. On the side for Earth Spirit. Ooh. That taunt just missing the concussion cell. The arcane shot coming in. But meanwhile, we do have another kill going in the way for Willow on the Tide Hunter. But meanwhile, Tusk does kind of block himself in. The Astro Step, will it be enough? No. The, t the shards making sure Void Spirit stays in does not have another Astro Step. To get that earth spirit meanwhile we do have sven popping the god strength popping the storm hammer going on the willow the earth spirit rolling on the willow and pushing willow back into the the auto attack the cleave of sven finishing that kill off okay maybe maybe we'll have a lull in the action but i don't think so the trap going off on the shadow demon so the ta didn't know they were there okay so it does look like uh, Tia is gearing up for her uh, Deso, which would be finished at this rate at about 14 and a half minutes. Shadow Demon's got that mana boots. We do have Meteor Hammer for uh, to the Tide. We do have Echo Saber, and it does look like he does have a Yasha queued up, possibly for that Manta. Um, Skywrath Rage. Skywrath Rage. Dude. Soup. Don't ever, don't ever have it. It might just be a me problem, but soup. We do have a smoke coming out on the Void Spirit and the Dark Willow. Uh, meanwhile, Top Razor's just kind of farming up. Did go that Midas. Does look like he is going a Falcon Blade as his next item. We do have a uh, Spirit Vessel for Earth Spirit. But meanwhile, bottom, they are going on the TA. The slow. And, uh, ooh, Tide Hunter trying to get that Ravage and Meteor Hammer. But the Meteor Hammer does not need to be... They already had enough damage. The Tusk trying to get away. Does look like the, the Void Spear Astro stepping in and trying to do something. The Razor T being down here as well. Having his all going off. Uh, we do have a Bedlam. Oh my god. In the back line. The Willow with the Bedlam. And meanwhile we do have Razor picking off the Earth Spirit. The Magnetized man. Such a long time. It does look like Razor does link to the... T Ooh. I'm not sure if he was meaning to do that god strength coming out on the sven looking for that that storm hammer the storm oh that snowball very nicely saved and it does look like sven will be stunned up the meteor hammer trying to come out but does not hit any and it does look like the waller's punch and the willow will finish it off with chat the bed not shadow realm shadow realm that's what i meant does look like dispersion coming out on the razor to kind of keep him off the tide hunter 
we have 27 kills in the first 14 minutes, man. Most of these games have been action-packed. I haven't been able to talk about their what they're going. Oh, man. We got another gush, a meteor hammer coming out, but Willow will be out of range of that meteor hammer. I feel like that did no damage, Willow. Okay, so we do have both tier one towers going down for the side for mid. Um, so, and really the only other tower we have is that top tier one tower that I said earlier by the gyre. We do have Skywrath range. Rain. Mage kind of uh, nuking the Willow down. The shards coming out on the, the tusk. And it does look like Earth Spirit does boulder in, does get the silence off on the Razor. The Magnetize going out on the Tusk and the Razor. The boulder coming forward. Will it be enough damage? The Urn coming out. The Magnetize just stacking. Will it be enough? It does look like it will bring down the Razor, but Earth Shaker will be, or Earth Spirit going down to the Void Spirit. Void Spirit looking for another kill. The Snowball coming out on the, the Force Staff coming out. The Tide will be gushing, will be meter hammering, and does get the. the TA, the TA melding the damage, the God Strength coming out, the Ravage coming out, the TA dropping low, the shield just leaving the TA. Very nicely done by the Sven, cleaning up that double kill with that God Strength. This will be a tier one tower falling and kind of opening up this jungle space here. Very nicely done. Okay, so we got a Mask of Madness, a Blink, and an Echo Saber on the Sven. He is he is definitely getting up there. He's top net worth with 10k. We got Earth Spirit as 8.4k. 8. So, you know, like I said earlier before the game, I, I haven't really seen Earth Spirit. I feel like he kind of won the lane mid, um, but he didn't dominate. And we do look like a this Void Spirit is trying to get a kill on the Tidehunter. There is a double damage bot, but Tidehunter is just so tanky. Um, he does manage to get away. But as I was saying, Earth Spirit, you know, he didn't kill the lane, but he did win it. Um, and, you know, he's got that level advantage, and he's he wants to play with that level advantage. Um, it does look like a, a try smoke Void Spirit, Tusk, and the Dark Willow trying to find something. They do find the Sky, and Sky will immediately be going down, trying to force Staff himself out. But the Bramble Maze, the Walrus Punch is just too much, too fast, and Skyrath just can't do anything about it. Does the Leg Razor is trying to get the Link on the Tidehunter. The Astral Step coming out, the double damage pop, the double Astral Step, the slow from the Shadow Demon. It does look like Void Spirit will be getting away. Uh, Sven is up here kind of like, uh, I think I'm just going to farm. Uh, does blink down in the lower, realizing, okay, yeah, that, that fight's over. I'm just going to go farm. <laughs> okay, we do have the Earth Spirit top lane. Uh, he does have the Sanj. He's he's looking for the Sanj, Kaya, Kaya Sanj, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, we do have a Voidstone Soul Ring picked up by the Tide Hunter just to make sure he has enough mana to get that Ravage off. Um, does look like Sven will be TPing back to the Tier 1 Tower bottom. Ooh. Oh, this could be a huge kill. The Walrus Punch, the Astral Step, the Taunt. Oh, man, and Earth Spirit just did not have a chance on that. Uh, meanwhile, we do have uh, Sky, Tide, and uh, Shadow Demon kind of uh, trying to get this Void Spirit. But Void Spirit's playing a little cautiously. There are no blinks. The silence going off. Will it be enough in time? But no, they're like, you know, we, we couldn't get the catch. We couldn't get the dispersion. We need to get out of dodge. Uh, Willow TPing back mid. Does have that Yules, and it does look like to punch the tag team. And the snowball is enough to find that Skywrath kill. The Bramble Maze coming out, but they definitely did not need that. Um, 
very nicely done by the Radiant side. And still, this game, this game is anybody's game. We look at the, the gold, and Radiant's up by one, but that could change at any moment. The roll in by the Earth Spirit. Will there be a kickback? No, there is a Magnetize and the Void Spirit. Ooh, that juke. I don't think he was playing, thinking he was going here. The BKB popped by the Razor, and he will be getting out. Another roll going forward. The God Strength coming off, and it is a Tusk falling to the God Strength of the Sven. Sven looking to push with this God Strength. TA does take the, the Tier 2 Dire Tower top. Uh, and with the God Strength, Sven is looking to push. There are no creeps for quite a while, though. Uh, and this is going to kind of render that God Strength kind of... Ugh. But they do smoke. They're saying, hey, we saw somebody down here bottom. We're, we're going for this Razor. And here they go. Here they go. There is no BKB on the Razor. The rolling does miss. But the slow, the silence coming out. The gush, the Meteor Hammer, the blink forward on the Sven. The Skyrath getting that finishing kill. The Skyrath, meanwhile, in the background. Ooh, just lives with the Glimmer Cape. Dave. And it does look like the Banish on the Void Spirit to make sure that Skyrath. The Ravage coming out does hit one. They are looking to kill the TA. The BKB on the Sven. Just wreck, wreaking havoc on the TA. The TA going down. And meanwhile, it does look like uh, Earth Spirit also did find that kill on the Willow. So that is a four for nil trade. Going inside for buff. And like I said, man, that 1k net worth doesn't mean anything. Same with this. This 2k net worth does not mean anything at this point of the game. These teams are so neck and neck. They're so close. With so much action going on. This could go either way still. It, it's basically a teeter-totter. Um, and honestly, what it's been coming down to is what team can get one of the cores out of position and catch them before the one of the cores can do something. That is what it's been coming down to this entire game. The last four or five fights has literally, they started this, they got Razor. Razor couldn't do a single thing. His BKB was down. Bam. Dead. You know, up here. Earth Spirit. Dead. Couldn't do a single thing. You know, it went for the side of Radiant. So, it, this is going to come down to map positioning. And who can get a carry out of the, out of the fight without the carry using their spells, using that right-click damage. So we got Void Spirit, does have that Manta finished up, does have a full wand at the ready. Yule still on uh, Willow. Looks like queued up, Ag Scepter. Nice, nice damage uh, coming out. We do have the BKB and Chrysalis on Sven. So Sven, Sven is getting up there, man. That is one person you do not want to uh, face tank. Uh, double damage bottom for the Earth Spirit does look like the Cayenne Sanj is finished going for that BKB setup. Uh, Tide Hunter does have that Lotus to kind of reverse those, uh, maybe the the chain, you know, the snowball, you know, the the channel all, you know, to purge that, or not the channel all, the channel uh, stun by uh, Willow. Not the channel stun. Oh my god. I use it all the time. The cursed crown, dude. Oof. Four staff, man. Saved, uh, saved Sky. And then that, that Glimmer Cape coming out also saved them. They are pinging out bottom. They do know Tide is there. Meanwhile, top, we do have the Sven and the Void Spirit. That was a smart call, Sven. Not launching that Storm Hammer. TA does have a Shadow Blade looking to go on the Sven, but realizing, you know what, maybe maybe he's got some company behind him. Uh, so, uh, like, like you saw, we do have a Silver Edge picked up for uh, TA, and that is, that is mainly for the Tide, more than likely. Uh, you know, the Sven does have that Great Cleave that you could disable but more than likely it's for the tide hunter so you can kill his kraken shell um and basically go away with that 
Um, they are pinging out. This Void Spirit top. This Void Spirit could be in trouble. No, he does get away. Ooh, very nice astral and astral step with the the dissimulate. Oh man, the rolling just missed him, and it does look like the raise of the God Strength. But Sven cannot match the power of or Sven. <laughs> Razor cannot match the power of Sven. It does look like the rolling boulder coming in. The Tide Ravage hitting Tusk and the TA. The Willow trying to save, but Willow going down with two hits from the Sven. Sven cleaning up, just melting the TA. Shadow Demon does get that, that final uh, tick on the, the TA, though. Oh, man. This, this is one tanky boy. This is one hefty boy. You don't want to, you don't want to face tank him, man. I, I told you earlier. That is one guy you do not want to face tank. Tier 1 tower going down for the radiant side. Man, I just can't catch my breath. There's, and it does look like the blink, the snowball, the anchor, the everything going on the spin finally bringing him down the rolling boulder earthshaker trying to get away but the cursed crown will be going off the snowball going out on the earth spirit and it will be a two for nil trade that they did kind of overextend there um and that's kind of what le led to those two kills oh the rays are getting at tide hunter courier very nicely done 100 gold going for each player 500 gold swing so, looking at this game, um, this this is still anybody's game. Uh, Roche is going to be going to the side of the Radiant, seeing as Sven is down for another 25 seconds. And they don't have Ravage. So, they, they can't do anything about this. This is a, a Roche for the Radiant. Uh, we do have 4k gold on the Void Spirit. What will he buy bet next? Will he be going a BKB? Will he be going a... A Silence? Will he be going a Sheepstick? Um, we will find out here when he decides to buy with that. Sven does look like he has a Satanic. Here we go, boys. Oh, no. That's not real, guys. Okay. They know that. Ugh. Trying to look for a, a kill, but no effort. Rolling Boulder, just Earth Spirit covering so much ground so quick. But realizing, okay, there is nobody down here. So that smoke gank did fail. Uh, Void Spirit did, did a good job kind of discerning. I don't think he knew that. Okay, does, so it does look like an ads. So now we do have resonant, uh, 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 resonant pulse. Now we'll be silencing, and two charges coming out for the void spirit. Uh, Deso only has two stacks. Ta would like more stacks. Going for a BKB next. Sven also getting the silver edge. Both players silver edge, kind of uh, nonchalant there. Oh man, he's going on the Void Spirit, the God Strength coming out, and the Burst is there, the Void Spirit going down before he could do anything. The Sven trying to kill the TA, the TA does get the meld, that meld damage, and the Deso reducing that armor, and it does look like Ty does get stunned, but no, he does get the Ravage off on the Tusk, the TA, and the Willow, Willow does go down to a single strike of Sven, Sven just trying to kill the razor but is disarmed trying to get away from the link the razor does bring down with the eye of the storm and the link to the sven and it does look like a uh, shadow demon will just escape with the glimmer cape the razor does finally go down to the earth spirit ta meanwhile up here with the aegis with the silver edge they are looking for a kill on oh the mouth coming out oh it's so close and it does look like the tide hunter does go down that will be ages lost there is a uh ward coming out it does look like uh ooh, nice play by the earth spirit 
to basically get her back. And she's trying to tip you out, but no, it will not be in time. Not be in time. Well played by their Earth Spirit to send her just so deep in the base. Oh, man. Whew. 66 kills. 66 kills at 30 minutes. That is insane. These two have just nonstop been going after it. That ag stuff they're proving so viable. Um, getting that TA, sending her way deep in the base. Glimmer Cape, Blink on Shadow Demon. We got four staff and ghost on the the sky. Silver Edge coming in from the top. They do or from the the Sven. Sven looking to get a kill. The the Sentry Ward coming out, realizing okay, Sven is right behind me, guys. And it does look like they are pinging out the Tide Hunter, realizing okay, the entire team is bottom. Can we uh can we do something mid? But he does use that that Ogre Seal Totem to get away. And it does look like uh, down bottom, they are going on the Razor. Razor does get the BKB popped off. Earth Spirit, meanwhile, going on the Tusk. The Tusk snowballing just to try to save himself a little more time. But Sven cleaning up that kill with the Silver Edge. Not that he needed the bonus damage, but hey, it works. Meanwhile, Razor. Oh, the Blink Forward Sven just knocking. Knocking down the Razor with that God Strength still intact. And the Fortify does come out. And it does look like this Tier 2 bottom will be falling but meanwhile willow is trying to do some damage to the top tier three tower of the dire side but the fortified coming out as well um it does look like they are going to go high ground with this seeing as it's the razor with 50 seconds down uh bramble maze does come out the gush from the ags now does send it in a straight line reducing that armor i love tide hunters uh ags i love that gush oh what did I miss? Oh, man. The Shadow Demon instantly falling to the TA. It must have been, like, two-shotted. I, I definitely missed that. Earth Spirit rolling away, trying to get away. The Shards barely missing him. The Earth Spirit now rolling away again, saying, Okay, I am safe. I am good to TP out. Eight stacks now on the Desolator. Getting up there, but, you know, you want that 30 stacks. Meanwhile, while there's a sense of lull. Mm, 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 mm. Sven and the Silver Blade. Oh my god! Two hitting the Dark Willow. TPing forward, trying to get the Void Spirit. Void Spirit does disseminate, and then he does... Do a double Astro, but Earth Spirit on his tail, trying to roller boulder, and he will get the roller boulder. Sven getting the blink off, and the stun just tearing apart this team one by one. Razor static linking the Sven, trying to get what he can done. There is no BKB left on the Razor. The Razor is in stone form. The bash backwards, and the roll. Earth Spirit just on a dominating man. He is dominating the team. With those roller, rolling boulders, with that enchant remnant, he is just, ugh, it's just too much. TA, meanwhile, bottom, trying to take Dire tier 2, trying to do something. We do have a, a TA coming, or a Skyrath, T-Ping, the Ghost coming out, the BKB coming out, the Glimmer Cape coming out. So many saves, and it does look like the TA realized he can't do anything, T-Ping back home. And it does look like the Terrorize does go on the Earth Spirit. Just like the walrus punch going on, but Earth Spirit rolling boulder, bouldering, full forward, man. This channel stun going on the Sven, but Sven does get that silver edge popped off. It's just like Earth Shaker does roll forward to try to finish off the Tusk. The Mel's coming out, and the TA trying to finish up the Earth Spirit, but no, he does. 
put himself in that enchanted remnant. The Tide Hunter with the Ravage coming out, the Meteor and Hammer coming out, the Manta Dodge to disseminate the Astral Step. The Void Spirit will be back to save the, the, the Blink on the Tusk, the Snowball coming in to, to disseminate the Tide Hunter does go down. The Tusk going forward with the Spend with the Storm Hammer going on the Dark Willow. And it does look like the Willow is silenced up the Tusk, getting that, that dust off. Um, the snowball coming out, and it does look like the Curse of Crown does go on the Earth Spirit. The Earth Spirit trying to roller bolting out. The Raider with the BKB, the Sven trying to uh, TP out. It does look like he will be able to TP out. But meanwhile, Void Spirit does get the Earth Spirit on the back lines. Ghost, but then Snowball does cancel that, and it does look like this will be a Dead Sky Wrath Mage. A huge swing. Huge swing for the Radiant side. And it does look like the tier two will be going down. Sven is the only one up and alive. 40 seconds for the Earth Spirit. Tide will be up in 10, but without Ravage. Is there much they can do? But I don't think they uh, they want to continue pushing. Um, still a Tormentor up for the Radiant side. No Tormentor. Man, I am missing all these key points because literally... There is no lull in this this action. So we do have a Lincoln's out on the Void Spirit. Um, let's see. If we, if we run through all the items, we're going to do that real quick. Oh, man. We got a Divine Pickup by the TA. Woo! So Void Spirit does have that Lincoln's, does have the Ags. So we will be seeing the TA grabbing this Aegis. Uh, meanwhile, Tusk is going for his... Sh his uh, Ag Scepter. Razor does have a Satanic, does have that Heaven's Halberd, which we saw used on the Sven a couple times. Um, Glimmer Cape and Yules on the Willow. Meanwhile, Shadow Demon does have the Glimmer and Blink with Aeon Disc, basically to save himself so he can save other people. Skywrath does look like he is going for that Shard. Or not Shard, the, the Ags. Um, Sven does have his Shard. Um, going for a Silver Edge, Satanic BKB, you know, all that the good stuff. And Tide Hunter. Nothing new since we last saw. And then we do have a Dagon coming out for the Earth Spirit as a new item. Both teams are kind of huddled together, realizing this this is where it comes down to. The next team fight could be the last. Could be. There are buybacks on Sven willow and sky but no one else so it, it, this game could be either one and both teams are just neck and neck the astral spirit step coming forward the earth spirit does get the boulder off the god strength coming out for the sven the sven does pop the bkb meanwhile down here we do have earth spirit getting the magnetized grip on both the tusk and the razor razor oh man the sven killing the tusk and it does look like the rabbit's coming out Getting stunned off on two. The Meteor and Hammer does just miss the Void Spirit. And it does look like the TA wanting to go in. Oh, that was a really nice. And it does look like the Cursed Crown will be hitting the four Staff on the Sven to save the Sven. The Willow trying to do what damage he she can to the Sven. Both Yuled up because of that Lotus Orb. The TA just trying to do an insane amount of damage. The Silence coming out. The Manta coming out on the Void Spirit to break the Silence. And it does look like it is... Kind of a uh, evenish trade. Uh, it was a two for one, um, but TA again wants to kind of play this the safe um, because she does have that divine rapier in hand. Um, going MKB next, queued up, um, and if we if we look at the items, we got that paladin sword with razor. Uh, doing doing really nice work. Defiant Shell, both on the cores, TA and Void Spirit. Um, Dandelion Amulet on the, the Willow. Uh, we got Psychic Cave Band, Gossip Cape, Havoc Hammer, Ogre Seal Totem, and Timeless Relic for that, that Earth Spirit. Oof, man. So, TA dies and gives the Divine to Sven. I'm going to say Dire Havoc, but this game, 
cannot be a closer game. That 4K net worth doesn't mean crap. Doesn't mean crap. Both of these carries have the damage output to one shot, two shot the, the supports. So it does look like tier four items are being collected now. We got, ooh, TA getting that meld off. The BKB coming out on the Sven. The Sven getting that bonus armor, the war cry, and retreating. So that that is a BKB down on the Sven. So they don't really want to fight until they have that BKB back up. But that is going to be a 75 seconds before that next BKB. And that's only six seconds now, keep in mind. Um, TA... Still no BKB. Um, or she got it in her backpack, sorry. Her BKB is still nine seconds, though. Like, so that that's gonna be a huge deal. I mean, it's only three seconds, but three seconds in Dota is like a millennium. Like, those three seconds. Oof. Ooh. Trying to catch the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit's trying to get away, but the silence coming out on the Void Spirit. Remnant faults. The Earth Spirit does shatter himself, knocking himself. The Rolling Boulder coming out, and he will be TPing to safety. I'm telling you what, this Earth Spirit is a menace to grab a hold of. We do have Assault Karras coming out, and it does look like Sven is saving for that buyback as well as trying to get that, that Moonshark. The, the Tusk, the Snowball, trying to do what he can, but no, it's just too much to spend BKB. The Ravage missing, missing both Razor and Void Spirit. Does look like the Aegis does expire, but will the save on the Sven, the TA using the BKP, trying to kill the Sven. The Storm Hammer coming out does get that last second stun, but no, the Dark Bull finishing the Sven, and the TA does bring down the Earth Spirit, and this fight is going in favor of, oh, nicely done by the Void Spirit, just in time before that, that TP. Uh, all three do have buybacks. All three cores for uh, the Dire do have buybacks. But they don't really want to use them. That that MKB, that Divine Rapier for TA, just wreaking havoc. That shield's coming out, and this tower will be dropping. We do have a Fortify. Oh, man. Double Astro Step onto the sky, the tall onto the side, the silence, but the Glimmer Cape from the, the Shadow Demon. And it does look like mid racks will be falling, the buyback coming out on the Tide Hunter. But they don't really have anything. Tide doesn't have his Ravage for 50 seconds. Chat, uh, TA maybe looking for something with that, that trap. Um, now, I will say that that's one thing I have noticed. I don't think TA has been using a whole lot of traps. Um, I, I haven't seen two, and I have been seeing traps here and there. Um, but it just, it hasn't been a whole lot of traps everywhere. Um, that, that's just one thing that she hasn't been using in her kit. Um, the traps are so good for that, that vision, um, in weird places and to see people out of position. Um, but right now they haven't really needed it. I mean, we got, we're at 80 kills at 43 and a half minutes. Um, does look like they will be taking the Tormentor on the side of the Dire. And that will be going to uh, Earth Spirit that can now grab allies with a geo geo geomagnetic grip. We do have some uh, smoke play up top trying to find a hero uh, to kind of open high ground push up, but they will not be able to find anything. 
Everyone's ultimate is back up and running. Ba mainly, uh, you got the time. Oh, the touch! Snowball, the blink, the kick, the snowball now back on to kind of prolong the tusk from dying. The Ravage coming out does hit four. The Sven blinking forward get, does get the Dark Willow. Immediately, the Razor does link the Sven, taking some damage. But the BKB out on the Razor will be getting out. The Razor getting, or the tusk getting out as well. And, ooh, man, what well, looked bad for the Tide Hunter. That Lotus Orb coming in clutch. Getting that snowball, saving that time, and then getting that Ravage out on four. Ooh, piece of work. So, you guys, if you if you think I yawn too much, I'm sorry. I have a... When I speak a lot, I have a breathing issue, and it's to help open up. So, I do apologize for yawning all the time. Hmm. Sven does get Lotus up, so that chain will be going back on the Razor. Razor cannot chain link the Sven. The Tusk does punch, does get that slow off on the Sven, does get the silence. The Disruptor getting that disruption out on the Sven, saving him. The Tide Hunter getting awfully low. The Ghost going off, but no, it does look like TA will be finishing that off, and it does look like the pull on the sky preventing him from TPing away. They are pinging the Earth Spirit, saying, hey, I know this Earth Spirit is up here somewhere, guys. We need to find this Earth Spirit. Where is he? Where is he? Why is Earth Spirit not TPing away? Mm. Oh, man. I think... So I think uh, you give the Refresher Shard to Razor. Yep, okay. So Refresher Shard is going out on the Razor. Uh, basically, Double Eye of the Storm is so good. Um, we do have a Crystalis coming out. Looking to get that into a Daedalus here very shortly. Nullifier on the side for North, uh, with North Spirit. Got some Boots of Bearing. Got his Ag Shard, which we saw in play with that kick from the Snowball, but did, did not turn that into a kill on the Tide. We got Sven with a swift blink up and running. Uh, still no new items from the Shadow Demon. We do have uh, no new items from the Razor. So, I mean, all in all... This, this, I think, is going to come down to, is this going to be game? We do have a 15k net worth for the rating. It does look like Fortify coming out, and TA does pause the game. No, no, just, just, no, no. Okay. Whew. Here comes uh, some taunt, man. Oh, man. TA is just wrecking these barracks. I mean, they, they literally have everyone behind here just waiting. And they're going to they're gonna reset. And they're going to go bottom. Try to get Magus. Whew. Look at that net worth, man. 30... 37 to 35 for the two cores and then we got 29 25 for void spirit razor with earth spirit at 22 tide hunter at 18 almost 19. Ah, oh, so, such an obnoxious laugh hurricane pike is uh up and running on the ta does put it in her kit BKB is in reserve that will be used for her second life. We do have a small play coming out on the side of the dire side. Uh, but no, uh, Sven decides to go middle. Um, This, this is going to be the game fight right here. We do have a smoke on everyone but the Sven. 
two hero two teams are emerging the ravage this could be huge we do have a refresher on the tide where is the ravage where is the ravage but no shadow demon instantly goes down Earthshaker instantly goes down and there is still no ravage and the tide hunter just oh the meld the snowball to kind of save his life the spin bk being and teeping out but the walrus kick keep, keeping it in the double ravage trying to keep Sven alive but the the void spirit finishing off the tide and the ta just wreaking havoc on the Sven. Sven with a buyback but to what there is no god strength none whatsoever he does buy back guy does buy back shadow demon buys back 3v5 but without god strength i just do not see this Sven doing enough damage against this team Huh, poor Toss. The ghost on Toss trying to save him, but the Toss does die by going way too deep. The Storm Hammer coming out, the Silver Edge coming out, trying to do what damage you can. The Havoc Hammer coming out, the Astro Step coming out for the Void Spear, silencing with his Disseminate, or his, uh, his shield, rather, what's it called? The Resonate, sorry, not Disseminate. TA finishing the game, and it does look like whatever will take game number one. From Buff Anchovy. Oh man. That TA, that divine rapier. That is what made the difference. Wow. Well played for game number one. That was a action. Action packed game number one. Meanwhile, stay tuned. We will be right with game number two. Oh, there's the lobby. Okay. So, we do have a 1-0 uh, for whatever. We'll buff anchovies. Look to tie this series up. Or will whatever 2-0. And again, that game. So. I just. And th this has nothing to do with how Earth Spirit played. Earth Spirit played phenomenal. Um, phenomenal. But. I feel like late game Earth Spirit just doesn't offer. Yes, he can get people pulled out of position when there's no BKB. But I just feel like with, with Void Spirit TA, it was just Sven against Void Spirit TA. Um, uh, Earth, Earth Spirit, again, don't get me wrong, he played amazing. Um all game but late game when it came down to it he just he doesn't have the auto attack he gets people out of position he silences people he he does earth spirit things um and he just he didn't have an auto attack so it was it was mainly sven the only one doing auto attack everyone else was trying to buy him time to go around and right click everything where you got on the side of whatever you got Void sp Spirit auto attack, Astro stepping everywhere. You got TA auto attack. Excuse me. Now I got hiccups. Auto attacking everything. 
And then you got the Razor chain linking. And he, he does auto attack with that chain link if he gets high enough and stuff. So I just feel like their late game lacked with Bust Anchovy. Or maybe they just didn't execute it well. Um, but I, I stand behind my opinion. Don't like seeing Earth Spirit mid. Earth Spirit's a great hero if you know how to play him. He is great. Absolutely great. The player who played him was absolutely great. Breezy did a great job playing him. But late game when it came down to it, I think that was the ultimate factor and why buff anchovies lost. So while, while they're taking this time, I'm going to take the time and refill my water. Because I went through like that entire glass. And, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> 